Yeah. And we're back. I got a break. It was a long one. Yep. Welcome back, Lothar. <laughs> Can you walk me through what happened last match? Shiny Pants took the win and was a 3 0. And so Handsome Guy is now in the lower brackets. That was the winner's bracket. Now we'll have to another match from the lower bracket, mm -hmm. right? And oh, no, no that was a winner's Yeah, the winner's bracket, but now we'll have the lower's yeah. bracket, yeah. right? That's yeah. right. So now we'll have Tom versus Reptile. We did see Tom yesterday on stream. Uh, but we didn't see Reptile yet, so there will be a new face um, on the stream for on the Hearthstone South East Asia Major. So we have Tom representing Malaysia, and that's Malaysia, right? Or is it that yeah, one? and Reptile from Vietnam. No, right. wait, no, it's Taiwan. Tom representing Taiwan. He's the last player from Taiwan, and Reptile from Vietnam. So Tom is gonna block. Uh, ban, sorry, the warlock. Yep. See reptiles ban? Uh, it was a warrior, if I'm not mistaken. And we're just opening up between the warlock and the paladin. Secret paladin versus. Uh, it seems like um, might be a brand, uh, brand version of zoo. Zoo basically. versus secret pally. Everyone's starting off with the secret pally. Well, it's a consistent deck. Mm -hmm. so it's a safe not? choice. Yeah, safe choice to open with. And Keeper of Ulduvan already on the coin. Seems like a powerful uh, option to have. Secret Keeper into Master Battle, or Secret Keeper into Hero Power, or maybe Mini Board into Keeper of Ulduvan, or Blessing of Kings. Well, uh, when you're on the coin, there's just so many options you can do. So you can keep the 4 drop in your opening hand. Kind of unfortunate to get another 4-drop in, uh, in the opening hand after yeah. more one, one card, but it's still not bad. You'd want a 2-drop, and uh, he doesn't have any 2-drops just yet. Tom Mulligan <laughs> away a decent hand and got a worse one, unfortunately for him. I mean, the Void Caller, when you're on ah, the play, hello, is unfortunately not I as, as uh, promi uh, prominent uh, as it uh, would be on the coin, so we'll see how that goes. No two drop for him. Yeah, no two drop for Tom Oi. also. So he's just gonna tap here. That's not good. Another void cooler. Yeah. I mean, this this hand would be awesome if you would only have a coin. So Reptile doesn't even have to coin here because no, his opponent hasn't done not. anything. I would think just about you know, <laughs> hero, uh, uh, just using hero po hero power, and then you have an access to blessing of kings or keeper of Ulduman. But definitely Master of Battle Turn 2 isn't bad at all, because you have also the Cock Hammer Turn 3. If you wouldn't have a 3 drop, then yes, Master of Battle would be kinda like a so so. Shield the Meme, one turn too late. Hmm. Well, now you need to play the Cock Hammer. There's no other investment you need. You don't want to, pl to just give away the Secret Keeper for free. You need to protect it. And next turn, when you can play Blessing of Kings on Secret Keeper or just on the one-one minion, it's an amazing move. Especially that you, uh, it's uh, especially important that you will be able to kill every four drop without losing your own minion. If he didn't use his coin for muster last turn and just hero powered, and then this turn coin to use um, blessings, maybe he could have gotten rid of the. Yeah, he would have get rid of yeah. the imp and sacrifice only one one one. And still have a decent minion on board. Uh, by decent, I mean a 5-4, five, five basically. So Burn. it would be almost impossible to penetrate by the implosion. Only a roll of 4 would actually get rid of it. So he has, he has to pretty much just ignore the imp gang here. Yeah. And just let Definitely. Tom be the one to break it. Second implosion. Well, the Void Core is like a must play this turn. And I don't think that Reptile would like to uh, kill the kill the Void Call right now. Like the slow hand that he saw from uh, from Tom, the tap, uh, the Imp Gang Boson Thin Free, uh, might just give him a clue that he has big minions in his hands. Yeah. Doomguard, Mulganis, maybe something else. And uh, probably you don't want to pop the Void Call in this situation. Yeah, so he's just gonna ignore that. Unless he's willing to just pop it now and then older man whatever comes out. But then we'll have to we'll yeah. have to sacrifice two minions. I don't think that's that, that I think that's a big too big of a commitment. Yeah, he'll just save it for later. Yeah. 
I like the board control that he's doing right now with the Secret Keeper killing the 1-1 one -one because uh, as we all know there's almost no way of dealing s single one damage apart from uh, Knife Juggler mm -hmm. to a 1-1 one -one minion so having multiple 1-1 one -one minions is not bad at all. So the aggressive approach in the beginning and then a slight, uh, uh, slight switch to board control is working in Reptile's favor especially that he can boost his sec Secret Keeper to a 2-2 two -two next turn or even a 4-4 four -four if he plays the Keeper Rule Man first. So there are a few options. Oh, Ooh. an implosion for 4! Well, 4 is definitely better than the 2. Yeah. That would have sucked if he got 2. So that's a that nice a outcome. Thing. Yeah. But the knife juggler here... No mass of a battle, unfortunately for Reptile. He used it on turn three, so now it's kind of awkward. the w The warlock is on eighteen, so it's not yet enough to g to to initially uh, uh, initiate a race, especially when your opponent has seven power on board. Well, this doesn't look good. <gasps> it's and hitting the wrong minion. Yeah, and it hit the. Void caller. So now, not only it gives a opportunity uh, to spawn a void caller or a doom guard for rep for Tom next turn, <gasps> but also he gives, like you know, it was really just a lucky, lucky juggle. You don't want to kill it. You just want to deal the two damage to the face. It doesn't change anything. Still, the two one one minions will kill your knife juggler. So it's better just to attack to the face. And you're also playing around the mortal coil from the p from the better. Did you have a uh, hit the void caller last turn? No, I didn't. You you wouldn't have. No, 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 no definitely not. I yeah. mean, there were so many uh, so many things that would like initiate um, not initiate, give give an an, an uh, a clue and just say to reptile that he. The Void Caller is really valuable. It might, it might be the second even Void Caller because he had su such a slow start with in the beginning. No two drops. So it's either like double implosions or just very big, very big minions. Oh, oh wow. another four back at Reptile. It's getting really tough. It just swung around and well Reptile, who had the starting, you know, because he. Tom didn't even have a turn two. So Reptile had a board, yeah. has, now ha has now lost pretty much his board. Well, to be fair, Void Color gave him a free mana Doom Guard. For z there was free mana, it was like zero investment. And then he had two implosions for four, and the second one was combined with a Knife Juggler, which gives you basically like just a huge amount of swing on the board. And now with the PO and Doom Guard, just win the game. And that's it. Yeah, the, the implosions dealing poor twice is pretty big. Yeah, and that's it. That's turn seven that was to finish pretty, up that was the game. really fast. Tom. Wow. I mean, this game was just like decided by the fact that the first implosion hit for four. Because mm -hmm. then it defined how the um, how the trades were, uh, were going um, in the upcoming turns. And that made um, Reptile like really st uh, step back with, uh, with his minions on, on his own board so he wouldn't w he wasn't able to provide the aggressive opener uh to to like you know just make up for the for the losses that he he had during their turn so that was quite unlucky for him yeah. but at the same time there were quite um, few uh, few decisions that he might made or uh, like you know other outcomes if he wouldn't kill the void caller if he would be more aggressive uh with the blessing of kings in an example yeah. maybe he could have switched uh to a turn free four drop if he would have saved the coin so there are a few few options to still co um, reconsider and i don't think it was like bad decisions because you don't you have no slightest clue What's, hap what's happening in your opponent's hand, but you get some notifications from him. Like the tap on turn two was very important for, for Tom and for Rep uh, Reptile as well, because that should have given some, some clues about what is, what is happening with yeah. Tom's opening hand. You should have known he had a demon in his hand, definitely. So Druid from Tom versus Secret Pally again. Yeah, and again, this is the symptom, right? Of the losing player. He sticks to the deck for it another round, and then in the third game, if that, that game will be lost by Reptile, then he will switch to something that will be countering the last class uh, from Tom. Secret Paladin against 
Druid is not bad. Definitely, uh, definitely not, ba not a bad matchup for Reptile, so he's quite happy. But it all depends if the Druid will get the Wild Groves, Innervates, or the Swipes. And Tom is keeping his Swipe here, which is perfect against the Muster. They definitely need it. If you don't have the Swipe, you're basically allowing um, Paladin to do whatever he wants. So you can't really allow to, um, the Druid to do, uh, sorry, the Paladin to just play the massive mm. battle and not be punished by Why that. Why would he want to be keeping blessings for? Well, he's on the coins. So as I said, he might be able to just coin out the blessing of King on turn two, which is important when Druid has a wild growth, because then you can get ahead with that buff. Now let's see. No innovate, but a wild growth. This wild was kept by Tom, so good move in the mulligan. Although he was starting, he kept swipe, and I think that's correct. I hope he doesn't end up double mustering. If he coins up and muster this turn, oh. Yeah, so I hope he doesn't muster turn three. It certainly looks like so. And Tom will definitely not play this swipe right now, because there's a reason why there was a coin used on the Master of a Battle. Mm -hmm. So next turn has to be a 3-drop. So it's either, you know, just... Oh. Either just a uh, eco hammer or another Master of a Battle. And by killing one of the 1-1s uh, one one and giving the advantage on the board s makes a really good setup for a second swipe. It Sorry, does. for the first swipe, if your opponent goes for the Master of a Battle. He's gonna go for the Master. And second mass of battle goes down. Yep. But it, it, you have to see, like, on Reptile's point of view, the muster did look good there. I mean, it could have been really way worse if the wrath wouldn't be used on the four three. But the four, the fact that Tom used the wrath on the avenged one one that recruit said to, to Reptile, "Okay, I have no swipe. So mm -hmm. go for the mass of battle." If he would save the uh, the wrath and just just killed the one one uh, with the hero power, then reptile could have switched to the uh, hunted creeper instead of the uh, instead of the uh, second mass of a battle. So it was still a bait, and I think it was a, it was a good bait. Hunted creeper hero power. Yeah, there's nothing really else apart from that. So for Tom. Probably the only option is the Emperor. Unfortunately for him, it dies uh, to the Blessing of Kings, but you can't really predict that. Secret Keeper and Blessing of Kings, which is huge because you curve out. And if he top decks a Mysterious Challenger next turn, that's like the horror of every single player in Hearthstone because then <laughs> he will be followed up by Dr. Boom into a turn and four drink. And I don't think there are many many decks that can sustain this kind of oppression. Yeah, that's just Doctor 6, Doctor 7, Doctor 8, if he gets his mysterious challenger next turn. I know things are looking good on Reptile's end again. Zero mana living roots, not bad. You can answer. Oh, Raven, Raven Idol. Idol, that's fun. I didn't see that coming. Is he going to a trait. spell or a <laughs> minion? Mm, he chose a spell no, yeah, and he got an Innervate, Power of the Wild and Force of Nature. Oh, he can have another Force of Nature. Hmm. His Innervate's also nice, but I think I'd go with the Force of Nature. Well, if you take Innervate, you can drop two minions this turn, and I think that's more important oh, than that. anything else. So basically, Actually, he had true. three Innervates. In this deck, right now, in this game. <laughs> so I think that's cool. And you don't play the low tip right now because we know it's turn six. So most likely your opponent will have a mysterious challenger, and then you just lose the effect of the low tip. So playing a taunt minion right now, after you saw uh, the blessing of kings, is your correct choice. But the help of the truce of a champion. With the help of the Truce of the Champion, he will be able to break uh, through the claw, still deal two damage to his opponent's face, uh, and basically that's it. Next turn, Dr. Boom. Fortunately for Tom, does the big game hunter, but he lacks the keeper for the Tyrion. And the Tyrion is still a 6-6 six, six minion, so a big problem for Tom as well. 
Another living woods. Well, you need to kill that secret keeper. Yeah. Oh, he made two one ones. Interesting. So he wants to trade with the Azure Drake for the secret keeper? Because you can't really let that live, I think. Especially when you wait two one ones here. Oh, one turn too late. He's A slight gonna, sigh from Reptile. Yeah, he's still gonna Dr. Boom here. Actually, I don't think so. Maybe sh it depends on what kind of, of secret does he play, but I think like Mysterious Challenger could have been slightly better here. I guess he just didn't think that Tom would have his big game hunter. If you don't play around big game hunter, I mean Dr. Boom is slightly better against big game hunter here because you if you play single Mysterious Challenger, then the advantage gets on the Mysterious Challenger and the big game hunter clears everything. So yeah, after, you know, what, after reconsideration, I think the big um, hand, uh, sorry, the big Dr. Boom was better on turn 7 than Mrs. Challenger. So, Keeper of the Grove from the top. Oh, it's Azure Drake. What else can he draw? There's one Wrath to pop the Divine Shield, Savage Roar. Well, Ooh. that's... That he's able to kill the Deterian with the Big Game Hunter and deal 7 damage to the face. Which is insane damage. Yeah, so... Even though Reptile had his Doctor 7, Doctor 8... Now he'll have Tom a Doctor 6 with Cockhammer. <laughs> so it's not that bad. Yeah, it's, it just sucks that he has to get rid of his 5-3 uh, weapon from Tyrion. But he he's very low in health. 10 health and he's not able to close the game like he will need actually free at uh, yes free attacks from the weapon to close out the game if he won't get a consecration or a single damage from minion coming to Tom because Tom will use most likely his hero power for at least one turn yeah he could hit hit, hit the druid's face with the, his weapon mysterious challenger and then cog hammer that's probably what he has to do other thing he, he can do is Sludge Belcher into Keeper of Ulduman and decrease the stats of one of the minions and then still attack the phase. I think that that should be correct because you need, if you want to win the game, you can't play a long game against the Druid. You mm -hmm. need to hit phase. Burn. The, face, the rope is running out. <laughs> Good decision. Because that's setting up, like, that set up just game for next turn. Wrath. So wait, does that change anything? Wrath deals four kill damage. It could the Alderman with the Drake. It's five damage. That's not enough. So we need to armor up and kill both minions. So Lotep will kill the Sludge Belcher, then the one to slime will get killed by the three three minion, and Hero Hero Paul will go up. So. Tom is safe by 1 HP, mm -hmm. and now Reptile needs to get a 1 damage source. Oh! Well, that works. So oh you play Knife gosh. Juggler, Mysterious Challenger, <laughs> and Hero Power. <laughs> and that's your only chance. And you're just hoping one of those knives hits the face. Well, you can also go Knife Juggler, Hero Power, and then think about Cog Hammer to just put a taunt. No, that's not really helpful. You will get a noble sacrifice from the Mysterious Challenger and another another um, knife from the Knife Juggle. So if your knight, knife um, misses your uh, Druid Hero but hits the the low tip or the engine of law and set it, set it sets it up on the 1 HP then you're able to kill it off before it actually attacks so it might be a huge deal <gasps> come on just try for it knife juggler hero power what? no oh, no it's what oh. what what has happened why i well. mean a keeper would just a keeper end could the just game. It, yeah. He had 25% to end the game right now, which is quite huge when you think about it. And you still put on like a lot of a lot of minions on board and the noble sacrifice as well. 
with the knife juggler. So that's another another chance. I think that was also okay. We'll see what happens. But was it better than going for the instant kill? Uh, I'm, uh, that's a tough one. Hmm. Okay, so Tom, I would say, has to wild group first. Because, well, he has two innervates left in the deck. I two innervates and uh, two force of natures. And a savage roar left. But two keepers as well, so Wild Grove needs to be played because while uh, Keeper of the Grove wins him the game right now. Yeah. I think I really would have tried for the lethal last turn because he could have had. Tom could have had anything. Force of nature! So now go. he needs to just APM this fast. Oh. Does he have enough time? Oh! Oh, the secrets! God. He was thinking too long, I think. Oh my goodness. I think he was thinking too long. I don't think long. he got it. Because Tom looks really annoyed right now. Well, that's a 7-8, so he would have to break... Um, the correct order would be one trend into the Divine Shield, then low tap, and oh. Ancient of Lore. Oh. Yep, that's about it. Oh. I mean, he was still dead. Wow. So this is why everybody hates the Secret Pally. Well, he had... Dr. Boom, Tyrion, Mysterious Challenger. Yeah. So it turns out that the Mysterious Challenger into Gog Hammer was a good move for, for Reptile because he won. But at the same time, if Tom would have played the Wild Groove first, was he able to go through and then still be out of range of the Gog Hammer? No. It was so scary because both of them were roping for a really long time and yeah. it's like, you don't have a lot of time, you gotta do something. But that was crazy. It was a crazy turn, that's true, that's true. So now Tom locks down his druid. Um, eh, sorry, um, Tom has locked down his warlock and Reptile has locked down his paladin. <laughs> now they have to try new classes, or Tom will stick to his druid, probably will stick to it. No, he's switching to the mage. I could only imagine how both of those players were feeling <laughs> during that last turn. Like, their hearts were just pounding in their chest. Like, am I going to win, or am I going to lose right now? So, two Flame Wakers, an Azure Drake, and a Frostbolt for Tom. Temple Mage versus Temple Mage. Well, that um, seems like a good matchup for Tom with this opening hand. Two Flame Wakers and a Frostbolt and a coin allows him to build a huge board presence while not sacrificing a lot of, you know, a lot of um, combat mechanism. Just f basically Frostbolt, that's is it. Is Tom planning to keep all those? I think Azure Drake is definitely not a keep, but two Flame Wakers and a Frostbolt, I would... I would, I would think about it. I would try and look for a mad scientist or... Oh, there we go. He's starting to look for stuff. Well, he's not keeping the Frostbolt. That's quite surprising. Mm, reptile, last decision. Decides to keep the arcane missiles. I hope Reptile will put on those headphones up <laughs> right now. Because, you know... Yeah, he's not wearing his headphones. I don't know what I why did he put Maybe them he just down finds them annoying. Second. But he has to get them on his ears. Oh, is that really a rule? Yeah, it is. Because you, if, you, if you can hear the casters, then, you know, kind of G. I'm uh. not sure if they can uh, hear us down there. Hmm. Good opening for Reptile, though. Mana Firm into, into a Sources Apprentice, into zero mana of Alcan Missiles, Unstable Portal, and <gasps> Crossbow. The spells are so cheap. Wow. So first of all, let's see what kind of minion goes from Unstable Portal. And it's a Dragon Egg, he which is awesome. It. No, he, no, can, it he can actually ping it on this turn even. So his yeah, but I think you want to kill first the Mad Scientist, so you give him a minion that is really <gasps> low value for the Mirror Entity, if Tom is playing a Mirror Entity. That is a good idea. And it gets killed. So now Tom would check for the mirror entity. And it's not a mirror entity. So it might be duplicate, it might be counter spell. So now that he, he knows that, he will ping his own egg and create a new minion. Oh. 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 Um, I I'd like to ping the egg. Yeah, that was kind of weird. More damage. So I mean, like two, uh, two one minion. No one will play Flame Waker into Oops, a coin. 
into Arkham missiles, basically. Like, maybe you would, that, that's seven damage. Five, seven. Hmm. I'm sure. No yeah. chances of killing everything. So. I guess maybe he's thinking, what if Tom has a flame waker with a coin and arcane missiles, and it's just gonna kill the two one anyways? But mm. I don't know. I still would have liked to see the two one dragon from the egg. Yeah, that, that would be a neat move. Like basically, uh, for the zero mana investment in unstable portal and two mana investment from the pink, you get a two one minion, and still you have the egg on the board. So it seems Another like a good move. Mana worm. And that's actually a great minion now to have uh, to have on board because it puts free HP mm. on the board. Now he may. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> a small dragon appear on the board. It's super effective. <laughs> well, this is the turn where I think you need to play the Flame Waker because it's getting really rough. Yeah, all of a sudden we have like five minions on the board here. And, and it's six, eight, nine damage at least if you don't count any damage sources from the hand. So that's quite a Quite a lot. One fireball and you're dead. So, flame waker, oh coin, my God. flame cannon. Tom is at 15 health already. Yeah. This is this is a fast game. This well, is only turn five. To be honest, Tom started really really slow, and I think that was a mistake. Like he should have he should have played the um the flame waker probably early on. Arkham blast. Uh, how much damage is that? 3, 6, 9, 11, 12 damage. There's the counter spell. So it doesn't boost the... Uh, doesn't boost the uh, mana worms for the first spell. But still... Oh wait, he did get boosted. Yeah, I, th I think it really does still boost them. Okay, so the animation was kind of weird. It was slow. 5 HP for Tom. It doesn't look good. No mana to do everything that he wants to. So let's say he plays Sosa's Apprentice and he has a Flame Cannon for 1 HP. So he can use the pink to kill the 2 1 minion and kill one of the mana worms. If it kills the 5 3, your opponent misses 1 damage unless he has a spell in his hand. This is very interesting. We have Reptile with only one card left and Tom with a full hand, but. It's just not going to work for him anymore. No. He's about to die. Now it's the 50-50. Die or you have no one. No, we died. <laughs> well, that was fast. That was very fast. That was turn 5. Turn guys. 5 from Reptile when it was turn 7 from Tom in one of the games, if right? If he had pinged that egg earlier. <laughs> then it would be even faster. <laughs> it yes. would have been faster. I mean, Tom had a... Um, had a really rough start, uh, and he went greedy for the Arcan Intellect on turn three. Yeah, and I, I think he that. should probably go for the uh, for the coin Flame Waker, even on turn two. He might have died, but then you have an option to kill um, kill off the Man of him with a ping, so you have a better comeback. Um, you don't just accumulate so much damage within the first four turns. We'll see what will be the next match. Reptile is. Left with his druid, if mm -hmm. I'm not mistaken. Tom sticks to his tempo mage, which should be okay. That's a but great matchup for. He doesn't play mirror entities. Oh. And so counter spell is pretty atrocious when your opponent has the coin and it innovates. Keeper of the grove. Of the grove. Um, hmm. I would keep the Paltish rather than my opening hand. Mulling away the keeper, I think. Palter Shot is a great drop against um, against Tempo Mages because even if you get killed with the Frostbolt, you still at least at least have something. And if you get the Innervate and you can just play it on turn one, then has a chance of killing the Man of them if your opponent lacks. Do the you normally keep Keeper of the Grove when you have no mage? when you have no wild growth and Innervates yet? No, I would have kept the Palter Shot. But We'd to be honest, I would have mulliganed away everything. Yeah, I would. I, I need. Yeah. I need the wild grove. I need the innervate. Exactly. To play against such an aggressive deck like Temple Mage. Even um, the sap the saplings. 
could they deal help. with um, but they you. they don't really help against man, uh, the mana worm, mana worm yeah. unless you use the hero power and both of the ferns are still alive so we'll see another keeper a shade and an emperor and for Tom that's a really good opening hand sources apprentice and mad scientist Archer missile hmm, could have been better but it's definitely not terrible Turn 2 Mad Scientist. Turn 3 might be a Frostbolt on Unstable Portal top deck into 0 mana Arcan Missiles. Ooh. There you go, there's the Wild Growth. Well, that's how we play Druid. He just knew he would get it on turn 2. Now, as Keeper of the Grove, we're gonna see that next turn. Because now it kills the Sorcerer's Apprentice, that's actually a huge deal. Mm -hmm. Still, turn 4 Water Elemental will be hell of a headache for Reptile, because it's a 3-6 minion. There's no easy way of killing that. And it looks like a good follow-up. Azure Drake, probably not on turn 5, but Conjurer on turn 5 seems like, seems like a good drop. Then you have a Azure Drake into Arcan Missiles with 4 damage. So you're able to finish off the minions that will be, you know, um, hmm. damaged by the Elemental. He had a lot of um, options here, Reptile. Oh, he used the Living Roots for the damage instead of the 1-1s? One I was thinking that you should just use the Keeper to kill yeah. the Mad Scientist and then make two 1-1s. One like, you didn't see a Flame I was surprised here. with that a bit. He plays around Flame Waker with that, but um, at the same time, <coughs> there was no uh, no situation... W I mean, th there should be already a Flame Waker on the board on turn 3. Because you know that the Flame Waker has a smaller impact against Druid, so it does value the fact that he has 4 HP more uh, than a Sorcerer's Apprentice. So it's kind of weird. Yeah, Tom has a Mirror Entity. Oh, there is a Mirror Entity. So he plays one. Okay. Important thing to notice then. But Reptile did have a lot of options last turn. But he was really... Uh, he really wanted to, to do that Keeper of the Grove. Mm -hmm. Force of Nature for 5 mana, swipe for 3, and a coin still available. So if he gets Savage Roar next turn, he's actually able to combo. And that's 14, probably on the one minion will, one minion will remain, maybe even 0. Let's see how Tom will resolve with his, with his board. He has a Mirror Entity and Counter Spell, but he's aware that there's still coin in the Reptile's opening hand, and I'm, I'm probably sure <laughs> Probably sure. Uh, it might happen that Reptile will keep the coin until the moment there's like a bait for a counter spell. That's true. Face frozen for the combo. Draw. Ooh. That's a good draw. So 13 damage staring at Reptile. Are you worried about that? I think you are. But yeah. at the same time, you have a swipe and a low tap and an initial of law. So the there is so many op um, so ma so many options. Puzzle nature. Okay, I'm quite surprised by that. I'm really quite surprised by that because now he's putting his emperor one turn behind. So it's like you know, kind of in a rough spot. At the same time, Tom needs to kill it because of the mm. effect that um, the emperor has on the wood. This is but a good turn for Tom. Well, one of them will especially be a good drop here. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, he would not build the board, but he will clear the board from Reptile, so it's not bad. Yep, I prefer I prefer this to the Doctor Boom. Yeah, gotta clear it. So he used the Mirror Entity. Yeah, and now Reptile checks for the counter spell. It's not counter spells, and now he thinks, okay, it's either it's either duplicate or or mirror entity and what do you do in this case if you want to check for duplicate you swipe first and then you still have the option to play dr boom if you are not if you're playing into um into an entity you can actually play loader first because you'll probably play it anyway right five five minion will he swipe this now i think the correct way is to load it yeah i like the load though when you're still on the back foot, I'm not sure. That's okay too. I mean, if you put the uh, load up on board, 
the man of room has to be sacrificed with a ping, which will mean that your opponent will have only eight, uh, six mana on the turn eight, because all these spells will be basically at least eight mana. If it's Arkham Missile, then it's six, right? So uh, he would have to sacrifice the whole turn just to trade off with one of the minions if yeah, he would have to like to use a spell. He wouldn't have dropped Dr. Boom then, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, probably he would have played it anyway, and um, just hope he Reptile doesn't have the second Force of Nature in Savage Roar. And it's highly unlikely, because he already used the Force of Nature, which I think it was in hindsight a mistake, because it, he wasn't building the board, and he needs that, you know, that push to finish off the game. I think Tom forgot to end his turn here. Now he's still thinking about attacking with the Ancient of Law. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Five <laughs> thinking whether to attack or not. Okay, that's not bad. You're able to clear the board. I mean, I'm sure that the Azure Drake will be killed. And now that's the risky move. Do you want to take the bombs, you know, mm. to the Ancient of Lore? Maybe it will die before you attack. I think you have to take the risk. I, I, yeah, you have to take the risk here. I would like to soak some bombs with my lore. No! Ah, too bad. Azure Drake dies, I'm sure of it. <gasps> oh it wow, survived! It That's a ri r rare sight to behold. <laughs> Usually the Bombot has like a death rattle, deal 4 damage to the Azure Drake, or deal 1 to 4 damage to other minions. <laughs> the, lo uh, the Lothar would be really good now. Ooh, oh. Two misses. Okay, well, now it has to die, right? Yep, definitely. Yeah. Never Damage mind. is pining on, but Tom is left with no cards and with a single minion. Boom, Lothab. Boom and Lothab in one turn. That that's is, actually that's awesome, yeah. <laughs> What's the spell? Azure Drake is not a spell, but he can get a Water Elemental, still not a spell. I mean, it's not bad. So if, if Reptile gets a Savage Roar right now? There's a counter spell. Oh, it's a counter spell. Two damage to the face, so a fireball ends the oh game. That's the savage oh roll, but he's probably gonna use it too. And it might he needs to play the Azure Drake first, get an Innervate or Wrath or Living Boots to oh play wow. around Counter Spell. Wow. Nope. One damage to the face, not gonna be impactful at all. Well, Jordan Vito is not a bad choice. Maybe so you have to see where the bomb goes first. Now he thinks about um, duplicate as well, because he's still not sure if it's counter spell or duplicate. Is he right? Because the counter spell was played last turn. No, it wasn't. But he didn't kill the, the flame waker, so he still doesn't know it. Okay. I would, if it is duplicate, I would kill the, oh uh, yeah, the flame waker first. You think so? If there's a frostbolt top deck, then you have a lot of chances actually die That's because true of too. that. Oh yeah. And it's a fireball. It's flame worker. Unfortunately for reptile. I this mean, unfortunately for Tom. Fortunately for reptile. This is what a match. The bomb deals two damage. Flame worker is played on the board, and now. If there's a spell, there's a spell! There it so is. it's 8, 15, 20, 24 damage. He just needs to play the Living Roots first. Will he play it? He does play it. 3 damage to the face, gets counter spell, then Savage Roar finishes. it. Is finishing up the game. Huge swing right now. Packets 7, 9, and 6 damage are being dealt to <laughs> Tom, and that's it! Reptile well played, he says. Reptile knocks down Tom out of the tournament, because that was the lower bracket, right? It's really good that he did know it was a counter spell, and didn't make the mistake of playing Savage Roar. Well, he could have played less than, so he already knew it mm, mm -hmm. in the previous turn, because that was game, if it w wouldn't be counter spell, right? So, but... An but exciting match. Yeah, like imagine if Tom picked up the fireball. That would be also. GG. Yeah. Right? Uh, but he played the Druid of the Clone just to be just clear out of any kind of charge minions, example, from Unstable Portal. Because that could have also happened. And uh, there was only one out, basically two outs with two fireballs in the deck left for, for Tom.
Uh, so quite an interesting match. Tommins unfortunately knocked oh, yeah. out and from the Hearthstone SEE Major in Singapore. But for the Reptile, there's still some matches ahead. Yep, so he continues. We'll be going to a short break before we'll enter the next match, and I think it will be from the winner's bracket, so don't go, don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. <laughs> 